guys, and welcome back. Well, this saga and between Tasha K and Cardi B is still ongoing. Well, to get things started, last week, Tasha K, um, a YouTuber on YouTube, she posted a picture and put life in Africa is turning out to be exactly what I needed, a fresh start. This week, I will be releasing my first vlog of my new life in Africa and showing you all our expanded family. Now, once she posted that, you know, they had said that she had moved out of her house. And now with the uh, post saying that she was in Africa, uh, fans started to think that she was fleeing. She was fleeing to Africa so that she would not have to pay uh, Cardi B. You know, Cardi B won a $4 million uh, liable, filed a $4 million uh, a liable suit against Tasha K back last year, which uh, she won. So uh, people just started saying, hey, she, uh, Tasha K has fled to Africa to keep from paying Cardi B uh, her millions, you know, so... Uh, Tasha K has came back and said, no, I'm not running to Africa to keep from paying Cardi B. And, uh, and on later that week, she just went off on Cardi B. She was just saying that Cardi B hadn't made but one album and she's sick of this one album, Starless Star, and that uh, Cardi B sold her rights to her song and who sells out this quick. You know, I mean, she still got this infatuation, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it, but she still can't keep Cardi B's uh, name out of her mouth, so to speak. Well, I guess Cardi B has had enough. So, Cardi B is garnishing Tasha K. Now, bank account, over $3 million owed for making, you know, from her suit. So, I guess Cardi B may have heard that uh, Tasha K is running. So, she has started the process to seize her property and assets owed by Tasha K, who falsely accused her of having herpes and being a prostitute. Now, according to court documents, Cardi B has filed paperwork in Georgia to t start the process of collection. Now, Cardi was awarded $4 million after a judge found Tasha K had defamed the rapper with various posts and YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Now, Cardi B um, filed that suit in 2019. And one, and she also accused Cardi B of having herpes. And the rapper said the allegations was not only false, but caused her emotional distress. And she provided medical records that were turned over in the case that proved that Cardi B didn't have an STD. Now, on the stand, you remember Cardi B uh, said the ordeal caused problems with her husband and led her to seek therapy. And she said only an evil person could do that shit. <laughs> now, Tasha filed a countersuit which accused Cardi of having her fans threaten her online. And, you know, judge wasn't hearing that. And they tossed Tasha K's uh, case out and said that she didn't have enough evidence to prove that. Well, recently... Cardi filed to garnish Tasha's account at Chase Bank to try and collect on her millions. Now, the document said that Cardi is owed a total of $3.3 million from Tasha. Now, Cardi demand Chase and his employees hold all of Tasha's property, money, wages, and other assets, including property and safe deposit boxes or similar property. Now, the rapper demanded Chase answer questions about the amount of money Tasha has in her account. Now, Tasha has rushed back to court, pleading to the federal judge who presided over the suit to step in. Now, she's arguing that, you know, she has filed an appeal and is still pending and collections aren't allowed until a decision is made. 
But I thought she had lost her appeal. I don't know how many times that you can, you know, file an appeal, but I know Tasha K had lost an appeal here not long ago. But Tasha pleaded with the court to stay the execution, but the judge has not ruled as of yet, guys. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know, some people were saying that, uh, you know, her YouTube wages were being garnished. I don't know. Evidently, well, she did owe her $4 million, and now she just owes her $3.3 million, so she must have collected on something somewhere. But, um, you know, I think this could have all been avoided because before Cardi B filed that lawsuit, she asked Tasha K to take down those videos and uh, give her a formal apology. And uh, she wouldn't even had to go to court. She was not going to file the suit. She said if she didn't, she was going to file the suit. And Tasha K just kept talking, just kept bashing her and talking and talking. And now it's come to this. Mm, what a web we can weave. Mm. Ah, yep. Yeah. Mm. So uh, we're just going to be waiting to see how this is going to turn out. But um, hmm, Cardi B ain't playing. Cardi B says she want her money. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. We will see if uh, Tasha K wins the appeal, but I doubt it. I really do. Hmm. What y'all think, guys? Uh, just press that comment button and we will discuss. All right, guys. Thank you so very much for watching my video. I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And it's always important. Be blessed, y'all.